To love is not to possess, to own or imprison, nor to lose oneself in another. Love is to join and separate, to walk alone and together, to find a laughing freedom that lonely isolation does not permit. It is finally to be able to be who we really are. It is to be perfectly oneself and perfectly joined in permanent commitment to one another. Welcome, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us on this incredible day. It's an honor for us to have you here. Thank you for your commitment to this union of the Joyce and Bruner family. It means very much to us. So thank you, everyone, for coming. Ashley and I and Connor have been working so hard to plan this for like the last two and a half years. I couldn't ask for a better sister and a better husband for my favorite sister. Sorry, Bethany and Becca. You guys are great, but she has to be my favorite. Connor is a great man and I greatly respect him. And Ashley is a beautiful bride. But really, this marriage is an important commitment. And I know Ashley has found the person who makes her the happiest, most secure, and confident. Marriage takes love and trust and respect, and it needs patience, compromise, and forgiveness seven times seven years and I know they're committed to that. Thank you everybody for being here tonight. This is a very special night and uh, I'm really excited to see everybody here. So thanks for coming out to support Connor and Ashley. Connor and I were best friends growing up. We protected each other, we embarrassed each other, and we're each other's worst enemies at the same time. And I could not think of a better person to pass these responsibilities off to than Ashley. <laughs> you guys truly are the perfect match. Ashley, great to have you in the family as a sister. Love you, um, wish nothing but health, happiness, and success for you guys. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and this community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. And so what you're doing here today is a beautiful act of love for each other. It is an acknowledgement that God has each loved you first and you have loved Him first, and now He has brought you together in this beautiful moment, which is powerful and beautiful simply for you, but also for all of us and really for the whole world, because you're witnessing by your love and your commitment to each other the power of God's love in our midst. And so we rejoice with you, we love you, we are so excited for you, and we invite you to continue to love each other, to love God, and let us love you as you witness to us of God's love for each one of you. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. Connor, repeat after me. I Connor, I Connor, take you Ashley, take you Ashley, to be my wife, to be my wife. I Ashley, take you Connor, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life, all the days of my life. May God, the eternal Father, keep you of one heart and love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. And may I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Connor Joyce.
to toast Ashley and her champion. She's dreamed of this day since she was a little girl playing dress up. And now her dream has come true. Complete with her very own Prince Connor. We wish y'all much love, happiness, health, children, and fortune in your long lives together. And may we all say cheers. Cheers. Connor and Ashley, and you will have many, 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 many happy years together and give me lots of nieces and nephews that I can put in cute clothing. <laughs> to Ashley and Connor and their many years together. Cheers. Cheers. Love only endures and only leaves like waves, receding and returning gently or passionately or moving lovingly like the tide in the moon's own predictable harmony, where true and lasting love can alone abide.